Hey, it's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing, the one place where we try to help you help other people by taking innovation, opportunity, and sound wisdom and turning those things into real things like products, businesses, businesses that make money. Anyway, I want to talk to you today about uh, a, a concept, an idea called dead reckoning. And if you've, you're not familiar with this concept, it kind of goes back to the 17th century, the seafaring navigators uh, on, on these massive ships that used to go across the ocean. Uh, they used speed, direction, and time to figure out exactly where they were, exactly what their position. You think they didn't have GPS back then, so how did they find out where they were, where they were going, and how they were going to get to the right place? How did they get there? How did they get there without not just getting lost? Well, they used this process called dead reckoning. And it's kind of a neat concept because, uh, or a neat way to navigate, because I think it has a lot to do with inventors and entrepreneurs. Because so many inventors and entrepreneurs out there that I'll find really just don't know where they are. They're just kind of, they feel like they're just kind of wandering and, and they just, they don't have a direction and it's like, well, I kind of been working on this and I really don't, maybe I'll do this next and they don't have a plan, they don't have a direction. So I want to help you get your own version of dead reckoning so you can find out where you are, where you were, where you are, and where you need to be and how you're going to get there. And the first thing you need to do is you need to know what direction you're going in. So if you don't have a direction, if you don't have a plan, then, then again, like I said in just in a, a video earlier, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And so you have to have a plan in place, a good plan. That's why we say learn, plan, and do. You've got to gain the wisdom, you've got to learn things, then you have to plan, you have to have a good plan, uh, uh, and then you, you have to do, you have to execute. So, so know your direction. Know what direction you're going in. If you don't have a direction, you need to get with other inventors that can show you how to find the directions. We have a process called Idea Steps, where you take all these steps in a certain order, and it helps you get to the next step, to the next level, the next place, so you can get from just picking the right idea all the way up to actually turning it into, a, like we always say, a real product of a real business, and not just a, a pipe dream. So, or something you just always talk about doing someday. So, anyway, know your direction. Another thing you need to know is your speed. What speed are you traveling at? Have you been taking two years working on your proto prototype? That's not very fast. It's not fast enough. You're going to run out of supplies before you get to your destination. So you've got to find what speed you're traveling at and how to pick up the pace. And if you're stuck, how to get over that part that you're stuck in and how to move on and move forward. You've got to get, the, you got to get that wind in your sails and move forward. So know what your speed is. And if you're going too slow, what, what do you need to get to that next level? What are you, are you kind of stuck in the doldrums of, of this one step in you, or it's your comfort zone step and you don't want to move on to that next one because it's too big and too scary, then you need to de-scary it, you need to demystify it, you need to understand it and move into that next step. Pick up the pace, pick up the speed. These are short iterations. You don't have enough time in your lifespan take way long on every project because you don't know what's going to work and you don't know what's not going to work. So then you need to, need to fail, you need to fail fast, and you need to fail cheap, as we always say. So, know your direction, know your speed, but also know the time elapsed. Know how much, okay, how long did it take me to work on this? How long is it going to take me to work on the next thing? And again, this, this breaks down to, to planning. You have to be able to plan how long is this next step typically going to take. And again, having good points of reference of other inventors and entrepreneurs that have been successful, not ones that just want to be, that talk about it, ones that's actually done it. Find people that are ahead of you, that are doing better than you, and see how they did it. See how long it took them to get over, over some kind of hump. So, so know your time elapsed. Uh, so, and, and again, if you're, if you're not good at something, if, you're, if, you, if there's this one step that you're just you just it's out of your wheelhouse then you need to find good reliable resources good uh, vetted services 
but find a good service provider. But here, remember this, never buy a service, a product or a service that you do not completely understand. Now, for instance, I'm not good at painting. As a matter of fact, I hate painting and I wouldn't want to get around a roller brush or a paintbrush or a can of paint. Uh, I'd be covered in paint and the, the wall would look awful. I'm just, I'm not good at it and I don't like it. Now you may find things that you don't like and you're not good at, but what do I do when I want something, when I want some walls painted? I call a painter. I call a good painter. I call a good painter that I know that has references that I know he did someone else's and, and their walls look beautiful and I've seen those walls and I know that person. That's how you find a good painter. That's how you find a good service provider too. Now, what do I just say he shows up and I say, hey, make my walls look beautiful. No. No, 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 no. He's going to ask questions and you better have answers. You have better research those answers. If the painter comes in, he's going to say, flat or gloss, latex or enamel, Roller or brush, uh, there's all of these, what color do you want these to be? So you have to research and know and understand what he's going to do for you or you'll be disappointed with the results. And it's the same way with a service provider. If you don't understand these things, you're going to be disappointed with the results. The results are going to be lackluster. Or even if they're a good service provider, if you don't have a good understanding of what they're doing, you all are going to communicate well and you'll be disappointed because what he will provide for you is not what you had thought in your head because you had not thought it through. So, sailors knew that they were embarking on a long journey. And again, this, these are fast iterations, I've said this before, but it's still not get rich quick. So you've got to, you've, you've got to uh, supply your ship, you've got to have your, your course set, you got to know your plan. you got to know where you are every step of the way. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I'm Don Skaggs. This is Empowered Inventing TV. And uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, please be sure and subscribe, like us. And if this is helpful for you and you know someone else who might need this good information, please share it with them. Uh, uh, if you're watching us on LinkedIn or one of the other, um, uh, other social media accounts we're on, uh, please be sure and like us, and again, if you go over to YouTube, please be sure and subscribe. We're trying to build our, uh, our tribe at Empowered Inventing. Uh, and, uh, so, and if you are looking for services, empoweredinventing.com. Check out what we, what we do, what we have. Uh, a lot of good online classes uh, there as well. So anyway, I'm Don Skaggs, and I will look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, one of our online classes, or on the next video.